May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to share a reflection with you on this International Conscientious Objectors Day. It's a reflection about the good desires in today's collect prayer. Good desires which we pray that through God's continual help, we may bring them to good effect. That second part of the prayer is important. Because as a Christian pacifist, I'm often told that the refusal to kill is a good desire, but it's not something that can be lived out. It's idealism. Because we're told in war and against terrorists, we sometimes do need to kill to conquer evil. Yet, in today's Gospel, we are given this command. This is my command, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for one's friends. As Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ on the cross faced off with evil. He confronted the imperial powers of sin and domination and violence and hatred. He laid down his life for us all, and in doing so, he conquered evil. In the commandment we are given, we too are called to love others as he has loved us. I don't believe that Jesus would go along with the argument that when some truly horrific evil suddenly rears its head, that the rules must be changed and swords must be taken up. In the Garden of Gethsemane, that night when he was betrayed, when he was arrested, a sword was drawn. But Jesus said this, put your sword back in its place, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Are you not aware that I can call on my father, and he will at once at my disposal put more than twelve legions of angels? Jesus could have drawn on the power of God to meet violence with violence, but instead he refuses the compulsion to kill. He engages with the powers that be. He confronts evil and those who would use the terror of crucifixion and meets it with a deeper wisdom a wisdom of peace. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that, writes Martin Luther King Jr. Hatred cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. The ultimate weakness of violence is that it is a descending spiral. Returning violence with violence only multiplies violence, adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. I thank God for all of those in this country who during the First and Second World Wars stood up and argued peaceably for the right not to kill. Conscientious objectors faced abuse and imprisonment and even capital punishment, but forced conscription was abolished. This is not the case for everywhere in our world today, and in places like Eritrea, people are still imprisoned or become refugees, refusing to take life and bear arms. May God continue to stir up in us the good desire of peace and to bring it to good effect. War is not inevitable. Jesus said, I appoint you to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so this day and every day, may God give us the strength to cultivate good habits that we will always refuse violence. Let it start with us that we may bring peace to our homes and households, peace to the streets of London and other cities marred so often by violence. May we stop exporting arms to the world and instead sow peace, both here 